You know what I am? A liar, a cheat, and a broke high schooler with shitty film equipment. The beginning of the title is a lie, and I cheated the anamorphic look because I have no budget for squish squash glass. Luckily, I'm a cheapo pretty often, and I've gotten pretty good at finding the next best thing for anything technical, or just illegally pirating it. Like the answer. So I present to you my $30 anamorphic lens. And honestly, for a little piece of cardstock and a cheap vintage lens, the footage doesn't look half bad, if I do say so myself. I know this video is a little different from the logs I usually make, but today I'm gonna run you through my process of cheating the anamorphic look. First step, get yourself some cheap glass. This is the Canon FD 50mm f1.4, and I got it at the same time I got my camera because I wasn't sure how great the kit lens was. Unfortunately, they barely look any different and I don't have a speed booster. On the bright side though, it looks cooler and I've put it to good use now. I have a second lens to record this video on as well. Anyways, I went on eBay and looked up the model I wanted. There's an option to sort by cheapest to priciest, and I got the first one that wasn't broken or for parts. It was a rather good steal for a bit more than 20 USD, and the adapter was only another 10 on Amazon. I'll link everything in the description. Moving on to step two. Mika, if you're watching this, sorry not sorry. Bust out my favorite vector graphics editor and design software. Not Inkscape, not Adobe Illustrator, but good old Google Slides. Make sure your ruler tool is enabled. Make sure the page size is the same as your paper. For all you bots out there that don't use paper, printer paper is typically 8.5 by 11 inches. Measure the diameter of the glass on the sensor side of your lens. Drag out a square with the ruler tool in slides and make a black circle. Look at that, round like Christian Bale's stomach in Vice. Inside the black circle, make a super skinny oval, like Christian Bale's build in The Machinist. Anyways, Make sure you have cardstock loaded in your printer and print it. Doesn't matter if you're running out of ink as long as you can see the general outline. Uh, then you can cut out the circle. Cut carefully. If you're already a clumsy nimrod, don't be an idiot too. Print more than one for safety. If you have a sharp eye, you'll have noticed my ripoff anamorphic bokeh isn't really oval, but more like a slanted rectangle. Um, or like a trapezoid. I don't know why I wrote slanted rectangle in the script. If you're a perfectionist and you've got any better ways to cut an oval, uh, I mean, go ahead, do your thing. Um, I just folded the paper in half and cut out the oval. Step three, now comes the shitty part. Use a Sharpie and color in the paper and grab some scotch tape or some masking tape and stick the little circle onto your lens. It doesn't matter how, as long as the oval is vertical and it doesn't fall off. If you have fishing wire, you can stick it down the middle of the oval and I heard it'll give you flare similar to anamorphics. But it also shows up in the bokeh as a line, so I didn't bother to look for the old fishing reel in my garage. You know what they say, fix it in post. Do, 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 do. Goodbye production Jesper, hello post-production Jesper. Unfortunately, if you couldn't tell, your fake lens bokeh will not act as a real anamorphic lens and squash your footage. So we have the next best thing, cropping. Change the resolution to 3840 by 1608 and you'll have a 2.39 by 1 aspect ratio timeline. If your timeline is still 16 by 9 and smaller, change your image scale settings to scale full frame with crop. Next step, lens flares. I personally am a couple quarters short of affording DaVinci Studio, so instead we'll have to use the glow effect and stretch it horizontally. Change the color to blue and darken the saturation a tad bit and you've got a mediocre lens flare. If you're willing to throw in a couple hundred bucks, it might be easier and will probably look better if you use the lens flare feature. Next, we'll add some effects to imitate barrel distortion by using a little bit of zoom blur on the edges. Finally, I'm personally gonna throw on Dehancer for all my clips. This is an unnecessary step, but I like the film emulation. Anyways, that was my two cents on spending two cents to stick a piece of paper to your lens. If you are looking for a cheap anamorphic lens, you can give anamorphic a try. If you liked the video or the video liked you, please drop a comment or leave a like. It helps the video find other poverty-stricken filmmakers. That's it from me today. Thanks for watching me yap about crap. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.